بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Welcome everybody to this presentation uh, My uh, research paper is about uh, natural resources conservation service approach for curve number estimation for some Jeddah region arid uh, basins uh, Saudi Arabia for water sustainability studies Actually this work is done uh, by uh, Mohammed Farran uh, Dr. Nasr Al Amri and uh, myself. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to give the presentation on behalf of uh, uh, my student Muhammad Farah. Uh, this is from King Abdulaziz University, a Department of Water Resources, uh, Faculty of Meteorology, Environment, and Arid, Arid Land Agriculture. Presentation, uh, the layout of the presentation, I give just a, a short introduction, problem statement, objectives, study area, methodology, results, and conclusions. Uh, for introduction, we have actually for sustainability of water resources studies at, at uh, a basin scale, a hydrological model should be developed to study the water budget in the basin in order to study sustainability issues. The natural resources uh, conservation uh, service curve number method is the commonly used technique for modeling rainfall runoff process, processes in, uh, in a, at the basin scale. The, natural, the, the NRC CS, uh, CN uh, relies on two parameters. These parameters are called the abstraction ratio, lambda, and the curve number, or NRCS curve number. Uh, these two parameters are the main uh, concern in modeling uh, rainfall runoff processes in, in a, in a catch, at a catchment scale. Uh, the common value for this parameter lambda is actually 0.2, which we'll discuss later. However, many researchers have shown that this, this parameter could vary between 0 to 0.3. And these are some st recent studies which were already done in 2020. So, uh, our problem statement can be formulated like that. Uh, we, uh, st uh, Saudi Arabia is one of the arid regions that lack specific studies related to estimation of curve number from field data, since runoff stations are absent in most of the basins. Therefore, any attempt to analyze the available rainfall runoff uh, data from field observation will improve our, our, our understanding of the hydrological processes in arid regions in general and in Saudi Arabia in particular. And therefore, we can build realistic catchment models for water resources sustainability studies. So our objectives in this research can be, I mean, set as these three main objectives, which will focus on a main objective. So the first objective is uh, I try to formulate in, in uh, research questions, like what are the appropriate values of NRCSCN and lambda in the Jeddah region, because my study area will be focusing on Jeddah. Uh, the second objective is to compare the NRCCN theory with the rainfall runoff observations at different values of lambda to see which one is the best to fit the data. Later on, we go to, uh, to objective number three. Can the NRC theory be generalized for both Jeddah regions and the southwestern part of Saudi Arabia? Because we already have done studies on southwestern part of Saudi Arabia. And this paper is focusing on Jeddah basins. So we wanted also to compare and see if they will both, I mean, can be, can be generalized. 
so the main objective of of these questions will i mean uh, come up to this uh, main objective which develop an appropriate rainfall runoff model for arid basins uh, based on realistic values of in cn and lambda that can be used further on for water resources development or sustainability issues in the area so we actually i mean we will focus on two study areas but the main focus in this paper will be on the area on the red uh, corner here we have some uh, basins in the in jeddah region and also we have the from previous studies we have also this blue uh, square which is some basins in the uh, southwestern part of saudi arabia are the shape of these basins this is uh, the name of these basins i don't want just to mention the name just you you may notice the shape of the basins you see the basins i mean i have diff completely different shapes elongated or even yeah uh, short one so they really vary a lot in geomorphological and shapes The southwestern part basins are these ones, which are, I mean, also, also just studied by uh, earlier uh, work, and that's what we are going to compare here. Data and methodology. So our data actually, I mean, we have about 30 storms in Jeddah basins. While in the southwestern part, we have about 161 uh, storms. So these are the data. And the data is actually rainfall runoff data, which you can hardly find runoff data available in, 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 uh, in arid basins. The methods which you are going to use to, uh, in this study will be about the NRCSCN method. And also we use the least square method to estimate the parameter. So our our model, uh, I mean, this is actually the equation for in in uh, for this uh, CN method. So it's actually have we have here. This is the balance equation. I mean, by the balance equation that we have the inflow, uh, the what's getting in and what's getting out. So we have uh, the F is actually the outflow. Oh, sorry, the infiltration, the amount of water infiltrated to the ground. We have P is uh, actually rainfall, Q is runoff, and IA is actually what we call initial abstraction loss. So this is actually the, best, the balance equation formulated in terms of that we get here our uh, 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 recharge or what we call infiltration is actually equal to the precipitation coming to the, from, from, uh, from the air, the precipitation minus the runoff, minus the initial abstraction and this initial abstraction is actually equal to a parameter called lambda times s and s is called the uh, uh, the maximum retention of the basin so which is actually given by this formula so this is actually the equation for s which is actually depending on uh, precipitation and runoff uh so actually i mean these equations can be formulated to also to get the outflow i mean reformulate to get the outflow which is the runoff which is i mean put in this so just rearrangement of the equation so i don't want to go in details but i just I give some uh, idea about the type of equation we are using Methodology, so we'll uh, rely on these equations. So we have two, uh, three methods to estimate the parameter Cn and lambda. The first method is based on the least square estimation, which we got something called 
uh, CN best and lambda best. And we have another method that we can use given lambda, we can get CN knowing precipitation and runoff. And the last one is giving lambda equal to 0.01, the value which we prefer it's better value for uh, arid basins. Uh, and this is actually, we can estimate CN based on that. So actually, this is the formulation for uh, least square method that we can estimate our runoff from the equation, from the model, from the SCS method. And then we can compare this, this uh, outflow or the runoff with the observation. And then we can minimize the difference squared and then try to solve this optimization problem and find out the CN and lambda that fit with this in this optimization problem. The results. So what we end up here, we come up with this is the uh, runoff Q and this is precipitation in the horizontal X. And this is at lambda 0.2 and at lambda 0.01. So you see the date, the dots are, uh, are the data. And the green one are the data for Jeddah region. And the red ones are the uh, data for for the, the southwestern part region. And then we get CN, which is about 70 for Jeddah region. And we got here about 66 for the southwestern part region. And we, if we consider all data, so we get something about 66 uh, uh, CN value. While if we take 0.01, which is uh, lambda for the initial abstraction ratio. So we got these values. So the, the, the fit even looks better here. Uh, so for uh, it's about 54 for uh, Jeddah region and CN equal to, four, uh, to uh, here about uh, 36 for the southwestern part while it is 42 for the uh, both. So what are the, I mean, the implication of this or what are the meaning of Yeah, before we go to that, I also focus here on, on some, some, uh, some uh, comparison between the, for only for Jeddah region, I compare the CN for a lambda 0.2 and lambda 0.01 and then we found this different shapes you see different fits but it it looks like the fit for lambda equal 0.01 is in somehow better than this one but we will compare this quantitatively later on but there is also a study by uh, an institute of hydrology in 1985 and they put a, a, a line a line fit to the data. So you end up with a line like this, which actually seems to be actually not a good representation of the basin characteristics. So when we, when we did some kind of more, uh, more quantitative assessment of the results, we found out that yeah, for, uh, this is for Jeddah, and this is for Jeddah, but at different lambda, and lambda 0.2 and lambda 0.01. And this is for the southwestern part, for also for lambda 0.2 and lambda 0.01. So then we, what we found out from this, if we look to this one, you don't see, a, I mean, a, 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 more, um, a quite uh, strong difference, uh, although this still give the least root mean square error and the highest uh, R square than the one with, point, with lambda 0.2. So that we prefer that to use lambda 0.1 for these basins. So we can come up with this, to this conclusion 
I mean, yeah, shortly, just uh, to, for time, I mean, the initial abstraction ratio lambda best was found to be zero for Jeddah region. But this value is falling within the limits of the common range obtained in the literature, which is between zero and 0.3. However, the use of 0.01 seems to be more realistic since it accounts for some initial abstraction that can uh, that can uh, that for sure will take place in the beginning of the storm. The second conclusion is that the that the value of lambda 0.1 is more suited to these arid regions rather than the common value 0.2. So then this is also uh, what we also found out even for the southwestern part was really was a strong. I mean this influence was quite strong in the southwestern part. Since it is it leads to a low value of of CN that accounts for the transmission losses in the wadi because this is a common feature of the arid basins that there is transmission losses in, in ephemeral streams and this by taking lambda equal to 0.01 it yeah it leads to lower cn and this lower cn means that you have losses due to transmission of the flood through the catchment and that's what's really happening in in, in reality and this also has been confirmed by previous studies as well. So the last, uh, sorry, number three here, we have a comparison of estimated uh, uh, CN with, with different lambda, uh, 0.01 and 0.2. And then we found out, yeah, that uh, between also the, uh, the Jeddah region and the southwestern part region, and it showed that we have highest CN value for Jeddah basins. So Jeddah basin has higher CN values than in the southwestern part. And uh, the, the reason for that is that, uh, that that's, that's the, we have really high runoff observed for this basin, uh, basin in Jeddah. And this is of this high CN event at low rainfall depths, but with short duration. Yeah, the, the rainfall was short, but we have uh, was was small, but we have short duration, which means you have high intensity rainfall happens in this Jeddah basin, and that's why lead to high runoff and high uh, CN. Uh, the 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 last uh, comments here, the last uh, conclusion here, then that the NEC models with the estimated parameter of lambda and uh, NRCS CN of this basin can be used as a, an appropriate uh, rainfall runoff model for sustainable water resources in the region. So that's what we already, the, the, the values obtained from this study can be used to, uh, to I mean, to, to, to construct a model for these basins and can be used later on for uh, sustainability studies 